yes good morning to one and all in our today's lecture we are discussing on the topic microwave region and band designation the reference book i am using here it is microwave and radar engineering by the author m kulkarni so let us have a look over the different tables mentioned in this book so the first table it is ccir band designation so consultative committee for international radio band designations so as per the ccirb standards 3 hertz to 30 hertz frequency range and the name of the band it is ultra low frequency 30 hertz to 300 hertz extra low frequency 300 hertz to 3 kilohertz it is voice frequency which is basically used in telephone or the base band signals then 3 kilohertz to 30 kilohertz very low frequency 30 kilohertz to 300 kilohertz it is low frequency band that is lf 300 kilohertz to 3 megahertz it is medium frequency band mf 3 megahertz to 30 megahertz it is high frequency band called hf 30 megahertz to 300 megahertz it is very high frequency band called as vhf then 300 megahertz to 3 gigahertz it is ultra high frequency that is uhf 3 gigahertz to 30 gigahertz it is super high frequency called as shf then the next band it is 30 gigahertz to 300 gigahertz extreme high frequency it is ehf then 300 gigahertz to 3 terahertz it band name is infrared light and which is used for the infrared frequencies then 3 terahertz to 30 terahertz also used for infrared light band then 30 terahertz to 300 terahertz infrared light is there then 300 terahertz to 3 petahertz it is visible light then 3 petahertz to 30 petahertz it is ultraviolet light 30 petahertz to 300 petahertz this band it is used for the x rays then the remaining two bands it is used for gamma rays and x rays so 300 petahertz to 3 exahertz it is used as a gamma ray band then 3 exahertz to 30 exahertz this band it is always used for the cosmic rays so these are nothing but the different ccirb designations now dear friends as per the applications there are different band designations for the microwaves and the millimeter waves now if we are using for using the frequency for industrial application then as per the industry standards or the ieee standards the band designation and frequency range is different but if we are using the frequency for military applications then as per the us military applications the microwave frequency band and their designations are different so let us have a look over step by step one by one so the first table we are observing here it is table 1.3 ieee industry standards now what do we mean by the ieee so the full form for ieee is institute of electrical and electronics engineering so as per this particular committee the industrial 
standards regarding the frequency range are defined so here you are observing the first band that is uhf so all frequencies here mentioned in gigahertz so for uhf 0.3 to 3 gigahertz then l band it is 1.1 to 1.7 gigahertz ls band it is 1.7 to 2.6 gigahertz s band 2.6 to 3.9 gigahertz then c band 3.9 to 8 gigahertz x band 8 gigahertz to 12.5 gigahertz ku band 12.5 to 18 gigahertz k band 18 to 26 gigahertz ka band 26 to 40 gigahertz now these are nothing but some kind of microwave band now the next band from q to r it is millimeter band so the q band it is having frequency 33 to 50 gigahertz u band having frequency 40 to 60 gigahertz m band having frequency 50 to 75 gigahertz e band having frequency 60 to 90 gigahertz f band having frequency 90 to 140 gigahertz g band having frequency 140 to 220 gigahertz and r band having frequency 220 to 300 gigahertz now whatever the frequencies above 330 gigahertz these are always used as a sub millimeter band now the table 1.3 is nothing but the ieee industry standards so these bands are used by the industry industrial applications or the industry purpose now in the next table you are observing in table 1.4 the band we are using for the military application so us military microwave frequency band so here whatever the labeling of the band or the band designation it is totally different from your ieee industry standards so whatever the labeling done over here in terms of band designation it is a b c d e f g h i j k l m and n now a band having frequency range 0.1 to 0.25 gigahertz B band 0.25 to 0.5 gigahertz, then C band 0.5 to 1.0 gigahertz, D band 1 to 2 gigahertz, E band 2 to 3 gigahertz, F band 3 to 4 gigahertz, G band 4 to 6 gigahertz, H band 6 to 8 gigahertz, I band 8 to 10 gigahertz, J band 10 to 20 gigahertz. K band 20 to 40 gigahertz, L band 40 to 60 gigahertz, M band 60 to 100 gigahertz, and then N band which is 100 to 140 gigahertz. So this is all about the uh, frequency band distribution for the industrial applications as well as microwave frequency band applications. Uh, in our next lecture we will go for the different applications of microwave frequencies so we will stop here so thank you thank you very much